Remember when I couldn't get it up? My pecker wouldn't puck and my meat wouldn't heat. I should have been a rock, but I was sadly soft. We were locked in this bathroom as everything went amiss. People banging on the door, shouting, I need a fucking piss. And when we'd been kissing back on the bus, as your friends cooed and made a fuss, it had been small rosebuds glistening, every nerve cell whistling. So now I'm feeling kind of blue, because it's your birthday too, and you're tugging, I'm a-rubbing, but between us we ain't got no studding. The situation isn't exactly erotic, but it's not the location that's anti priapic I mean, I'm in my twenties, I've done it behind brick walls and in the back of Bentleys. Actually, that's poetic license, it was a Vauxhall Corsa. And for a million other lovers, I could be a hell of a lot tougher. Yet you, I've liked you for a while. Perhaps I hide it behind my smile. I had a dream about you the other night. I mean, I really dreamt about you, like you were in my subconscious. N not like some poets say to be a bit pretentious. And when I woke up, it was like we'd been talking all night. I couldn't stop thinking about you as if you were just out of sight. So here, now, I don't want this with you. Falling over the bath, stumbles in the dark, a mumble and a fumble, knocking faces on basins. And maybe as well I know this hasn't begun before its end. You're gonna go back to your cuckolded boyfriend. I'm just a fling. Another face, another ghost, another notch on your bedpost. Because somewhere, somehow, you got into my head. And I wanted your face, your skin, your taste in my bed. To make love to, yes, but also to wake next to. To feel your heat, that's my heat to hold you close and thank my fucking luck. So I think that's why that time I couldn't get it up. Because in the end I just liked you too much. <laughs>